Hey guys, welcome back to it and welcome to So today we're here at Disney Animal Kingdom starting off the day because we are doing the four park challenge here at Walt Disney World. I'm pretty excited to do it. And we'll also be doing the Genie Plus as well. We're gonna see how it works out. I haven't done Genie Plus since like April. So um, it's gonna be really interesting to see how it's gonna work. Um, it was $29 for today. And I have two reservations or bookings, uh, one for Dinosaur, one for Navi River Journey, which is actually in a couple minutes, like 20 minutes I need to do that with. <laughs> but anyways, let's go inside and let's start it off. I'm pretty excited. Let's do this. So first off, I am not going to get any wait times on the app. I'm just going to go straight to the ride that I booked. Um, first one is Navi River Journey right now is a 95 minute wait and I do have the lightning lane so we're gonna see how well it works out. I'm excited for this. All right guys, right now it's 12.10 and the next time I can book something is 12.28. So while I'm gonna do that, we're actually gonna make our way towards Dinosaur for our next lightning lane. So that should be pretty easy. And we are now made over to Dinosaur for our next lightning lane. It is a 70 minute standby, so we should knock this out pretty quick. All right, just got off the dinosaur. Let me tell you what, that was rough. Um, I think I've only rode dinosaur probably five, six times, but um, that was pretty rough as always. All right, now exiting Dinoland and headed over to Everest for our third ride. Um, we're gonna try to do two or three rides per park. Um, Everest is, does need a lightning lane, honestly, because you have the single rider line. Should be pretty fast on that one. Pretty excited. And here it is. We'll see how this looks. This is all the lightning lane. And of course, right over here, outside a gift shop, that is the entry towards the single rider line. It does say open. It doesn't seem that bad though. Awesome 60 minutes to 15 minutes. That was an awesome ride on Everest. Everybody on the train was like freaking out. That was awesome. So it actually worked out perfect. As soon as I was actually walking out of the Everest queue, my table is ready at the Nomad Lounge. That was awesome. And here we are at the Nomad Lounge. Pretty excited for this. All right, guys, now I'm sitting here. It's actually really comfy. Um, I feel like I'm like on a back porch right now. This like really comfy chair. It's just, I could fall asleep right now. It feels really good outside. But um, as I'm sitting here, I got like 15, 16 minutes till two o'clock. Then I can actually do the uh, park hop and also make my selection to plus for those attractions as well over there. Um, and then I wanna do like Indiana Jones, Tower of Terror, if I can find it, um, Smuggler's Run, Mickey's Minis. So we'll see what I can snag at Hollywood Studios, then Epcot. Then, lastly, Magic Kingdom. It's gonna be a long day, but I'm ready for it. All right, guys, here is the beef skewers. This is a kid's meal, though. Uh, I think it's like 
uh, $15 for this. So you get like the white cheddar mac and cheese, the beef skewer, and also fresh fruit. Not bad. All right, guys, now it's time to exit Dizzy's Animal Kingdom. Been here since about 11.30, 11 11.40, but now it's time to head on to Hollywood Studios and see what we can do over there. I do have a lightning lane for Star Tours. Yes, I know Star Tours isn't the greatest, but I did get it. Hopefully, get Indiana Jones next. I really want to get like Smuggler's Runner or something like that, but this is my high wait time today for us. I got over 100 minutes for those rides, but we'll see. Now, come on into Hollywood Studios. I know it's busy. A couple attractions over 100 minutes, but you know what? That's why it's called a challenge, a four part challenge, that is. Um, I'm just trying to do as much as I can with the GD Plus. Um, try to do at least three rides max, um, two if I can, but it's gonna be fun. Coming on into park number two for the day. All right, right now it's around 325. The next time I can actually get a booking for another lightning lane is at four o'clock. So my plan is, as soon as I actually check in Star Tours, I'm gonna deselect it and do another one for four o'clock or where it was available. So that's kind of like my idea. We'll see if it works. All right, here's the first one, Star Tours at 30 minutes. We'll see how it goes. I still like this queue. Even though the ride gives me a little woozy, um, it's still awesome to walk through here. Very nostalgic. Yeah, we're walking right through all this right here. It's pretty awesome. All right, this golf star tours. It actually wasn't that bad as usually it is. Um, I haven't done it in a while, but I remember the last time I did it, like I was pretty woozy out there. But this one wasn't that bad. Um, but on to the next one. I think it's Indiana Jones. And this is the one right there. It's right outside of uh, Frozen Show. And those goofy uh, Santa Claus, a little cavalcade. Now, this is just a show, but they have a little sign here. That's where it starts. And here is where the lightning lane's at. This place is on Monday. Let's do On to the show. So, I'm sitting in a pretty cool spot. No one said anything to me. They said you can sit anywhere. So, I'm in the front and check out behind me. There's no one behind me. And this is what the other side looks like. It's pretty awesome. I gotta say, it's a pretty cool point of view to see the show. Front row, check that out, man. I can't wait for all the explosions and stuff. And this is gonna be awesome, Indiana. Well, not Harrison Ford, but you know, a stuntman that plays Indiana Jones. So it's actually been about 10 minutes now, and the whole theater is basically filled up. Ready for the show. Before we actually head into Galaxy's Edge, we can do Muppet Vision because why not? I figured if I pay for something like Lightning Lane, I'm gonna do it. So it's right over here, actually. I've never done Lightning Lane for Muppets, so it can be kind of cool. Party! Hey, what's all the commotion about? Party ran away! I know what that makes you smarter than us! <laughs> all right, here we are at Smuggler's Run. I can never get tired of this view. Well, not this view, but the William Falcon. That's so awesome right there. 
Alright guys, so we are doing Sagrada Line here on Smoker's Run. We're going to see how long it's going to take. Oh, good fan. Thanks for the Sagrada Line. Enjoy 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 the Sagrada Pull back on the stick to fly up and push forward to fly down. That's it. Uh, already. Weapons are online. Already. Left pilot in the two space. All right, guys, let's wrap up here at Disney's Hollywood Studios here in Galaxy's Edge. I'm excited to come back here next year and do more bounty hunter missions because um, I haven't done that in a while because now it actually gets darker sooner, so it's more fun to play the game. And it's also a little bit cooler than the summer, so I'm going to plan to do that sometime in January. Um, not in the beginning of January, though. I'm going to do some other stuff then. But anyways, let's head to Epcot and see what we can do there. And park number three, Epcot. Also harmonious in the background. All right, so here we go, round three at Epcot. It doesn't look too bad out here, um, but the other attractions like Rad Sui, Frozen, I do like over 100 minutes, so that was definitely a no-go. And we're gonna start off with Spaceship Earth. It's a five minute wait. Wow, not bad, not bad. <laughs> And now over here at Guardians of the Galaxy, I um, just want to say a little tribute to this because this probably was the best ride of 2022. It's definitely awesome. If you have never rode this before, you need to ride it. It's it's awesome. All right, guys. So we're actually gonna go ahead and exit Epcot. You know, I just said Spaceship Earth. Um, I just feel like there's not much here. I don't feel like doing the land or Nemo because those have some short waits, like 10, 15 minute waits. Everything else was like 80 minutes plus, like Frozen, um, Rad 2 was like 115. I was like, I don't feel like staying for that long. So we'll go ahead and leave, get some dinner, then head on over to the Magic Kingdom. And that'll do from Epcot Center in 2022. And the time has come for our last park in Scar, 1415 to 420. And we have made it into the Magic Kingdom and it's a very different atmosphere. I feel like I'm at Universal for the music. So plan of attack, I have two lightning lanes, one for Haunted Mansion right now, actually 855 to 955. Then I have Pirates at 9.55 to 10.55 and we'll see after that um, right now I'm actually pretty hungry so um, I'm gonna find some food on the way to um, Haunted Mansion because you, know, you get that hour gap which is pretty nice yeah this is a whole different vibe at Magic Kingdom I like it and we're now here at the Haunted Mansion it's a 55 minute wait and we're gonna see how long it takes with the lightning lane oh yeah that was like a five minute wait. That was awesome. Oh, I just got off the Haunted Mansion. That was a really short wait for that. Now it's time to head over to Pirates of the Caribbean for our next lightning lane. And here we are, this little dance party out here outside of Country Bears. Happy New Year, wow. It's pretty awesome. All right, next attraction is Pirates of the Caribbean at a 30 minute wait. We're gonna see how long it takes us. All right, so we're actually bypassing all these people right now. Going down here. This lightning lane's working pretty good today. Wait, wait, wait. 
right, guys. So we uh, made it out here in front of the castle, actually. Um, we'll get some of the action. May get copyrighted for it, but this is awesome. Alright guys, that will do it for today at Disney's Magic Kingdom and then our four part challenge going into New Year's Eve events and New Year's. Um, what a day it has been. It's been a very long day. Um, Genie Plus has been very helpful today. Um, it's, it's, yeah, even though it's been long again, Genie Plus is actually better than some people think it is. I just say give it a try. Um, this is my second time doing it on one of the busiest days of the year and it was great. Um, I'm very excited for this year, and that was 2023, and what it's going to hold for my channel, what adventures I'm going to do. I'm so excited. Thank you all so much for joining me today, and just joining me throughout the whole year. Everybody that's new to this channel this year, it's been, it's been great. Um, anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. If you like this vlog, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel for more future content. I'm ready for a great year. Come along with me, and I will see you guys in the next one. I'll see you soon, Magic Kingdom. <laughs>